ओके सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड एज वी आर एंट्रिंग इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री देर आर बीन रिपोर्ट्स दैट कोविड नाइन्टीज इज अगेन गेगेन इन मोमेंटम इन सर्टन कंट्रीज एंड इट कैन स्ट्राइक अगेन द केसेज मे इनक्रीज सो जनरल एडवाइजरीज आर कमिंग द प्रोटोकॉल्स आर कमिंग यू नीड टू टेक टेक केयर ऑफ सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग वेयर मास हैंड वॉशिंग एंड ऑल अदर स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल्स सो आई थॉट ऑफ रिवाइजिंग सर्टन की प्रिंसिपल्स इन द ट्रीटमेंट पार्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिसीज पार्ट अ बिट सो दैट वेन एवर यू फेस सच ए सीनारी ऑफ इवन इफ दे आर स्पर्ट्स और स्पोरेडिक केसेज वी आर थियोरेटिकली एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअली आर लिटल बिट स्ट्रॉगर इन डीलिंग विद सच सच ए डिसीज वेन एवर इट स्ट्राइक्स सो लेट सी सो दिस पी डी एफ और दिज इमेज आर फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट एफ एल सी 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 दिस इज बेसिकली स्टैंड फॉर फ्रंट लाइट कोविड नाइन्टीन क्रिटिकल केयर अलायंस एंड इट वॉज वेरी यूजफुल वैन वी आर ट्रीटिंग द लास्ट ईयर वैन वी आर हैविंग द सेकेंड वेव थर्ड वेव लाइक दैट सो आई विल गिव यू द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो बट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेसिकली Uh, disease can we can divide into four stages first is the incubation period second is the symptomatic period third is the early pulmonary phase and the fourth is the late pulmonary phase so in in incubation period what happens a person gets infected with the covid-19 virus and then it virus starts getting multiplied it it rapidly multiplies in the body and reaches to a peak point where it start mounting symptoms the patient can have symptoms of uh, flu Uh, sore throat fever high grade fever so at the start of symptomatic period or somewhere between the incubation and symptomatic period the viral replication is at the maximum now at this stage the viral replication starts to fall a little and your immunity starts to show the response and immunity system boosts up in the body to fight the viral replication now at it it may happen that the patient get treated and the symptoms stop here but if not then it enters the third stage which is early pulmonary phases where you can have respiratory symptoms cough will increase there can be mild hypoxia the ct will start showing uh, changes in the chest uh, infiltrates in the chest and if the immunity gets deranged or out of control at the, from here then the immunity shoots up and it get dysregulated immune dysregulation happens and it uh, enters in the late pulmonary phase so this is very very important to understand so we need to divide this into four stages roughly into two viral replication phase and the immune status phase now why this is important because this will help in deciding the therapy so just a little bit about this so uh, incubation viral replication maximum symptomatic viral replication is going on but start decreasing because your immunity system gets starts boosting then in early pulmonary phase respiratory symptoms immunity is still uh, going up and what if not stopped at this stage if some patient recover well enough if not then can be a surge and immune dysregulation and it enters into late pulmonary phase so likewise you will have symptoms here fever malaise cough mild hypoxia in this early phase and progressive hypoxia in this phase ct will be very 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 ct will ct scan will drastically show, uh, show changes in the late pulmonary phase some changes are there in this phase now why this important is we are discussing two things here when should we start antiretroviral therapy whether it can be uh, there were some oral medications available like favipiravir and some iv remdesivir any any therapy i am not uh, saying particular about any viral therapy or any drug protocol which is there but it anti retroviral therapy and sorry anti viral therapy which is active against covid and the other is steroid the steroid whether it is methylprednisolone or dexamethasone and in that category one more when we stepped up it's uh, immunosuppressive drugs like tocilizumab or other molecules so it's not about particular molecule we are dividing into three things one is antiviral therapy secondly is steroids and third is immunosuppression so the importance here is if in viral replication phase we should give antiviral therapy because here viral replication is maximum and the body is trying to fight the uh, body is trying to fight the infection okay now viral replication is almost over by the end of early pulmonary phase so somewhere between 1 to 11 days after 9 to 11 days viral replication stops and the early pulmonary phase of immune system uh, happens so if if you give 
uh, antiviral therapy during this stage from the start of symptom onset uh, it will be very very effective but what will happen if you give steroid in this stage where the viral replication is still going on the immunity which the patient is developing towards this virus will get suppressed and that's why the viral repl replication will go unsuppressed so in symptomatic or uh, phase where the viral replication is going on giving steroid can be detrimental because it will suppress the immunity and viral replication can go uh, unchecked while in the early pulmonary phase when the pulmonary infiltrates start appearing giving anti uh, giving antiviral therapy here early pulmonary phase or late pulmonary phase is of no use practically because the viral ha has replicated and has already damaged the lung so antiviral therapy at this stage will not be much effective while in the early pulmonary phase where the immune system is boosting up and the patient is deteriorating developing hypoxia that's why your dexamethasone and methylprednisolone can be effectively more effective if given in the early pulmonary phase means somewhere around after 9th or 10th day from symptom onsets like that from the disease starts so it de this depends upon the local symptoms which uh, which the disease is showing and when the patients show a drastic change in the pulmonary infiltrates or symptoms like sudden in, in increase in the hypoxia or sudden deterioration in the ct scan or x-ray or in the blood gases then it is where the immune system is getting dysregulated sharply at this stage at this stage immunosuppression therapy like tocilizumab can be helpful if you go give late in, in this phase then the damage has already been done so get my point in the early stages where the viral replication is maximum we should give antiviral therapy steroid should be avoided because it can uh, make the viral replication unchecked while in the early when the pulmonary st stage sets in uh, early pulmonary stage or a little later in the pulmonary stages giving antiviral therapy will not be of much use and here the timing of steroid is important here we can try steroids and if it shoots up here then we can give, think of immunosuppression so that's what here return potential therapies so here uh, they have tried anti antiviral therapy here steroid is added and then here you can uh, give um, immunosuppression so that's what they have timing of initiation of therapy is written so in incubation symptomatic uh, patients oxygen saturation will be uh, good and when it starts to fall in the early pulmonary phase where the where where your lungs get starts getting involved start anti-inflammatory therapy means you can start steroids while in this phase where the viral replication is the maximum is going on you should give antiviral therapy don't start steroid before so roughly somewhere around seven to eight days till that from symptom onset we should give antiviral therapy only if you if the patient is deteriorating then those who are patient developing hypoxia only those patients should be given steroid not uh, uh, other candidates should not be given and when it's sharply dips saturation dips and the inflammatory response shoots up here you can escalate the anti-inflammatory therapy like tocilizumab or any other uh, molecule which was available so this is this is a very fantastic uh, graph and the third one so here is timing is steroid uh, critical this is steroid responsive disease timing is critical not too early and not too late the same is uh, given in this graph the chances of getting your uh, rt-pcr positive in the early stage where the virus is getting replicated is very high but in the late stages what will happen the virus may remain dead and you can get a false positive result and their antibodies will be most effective you can read more about this in the uh, in the in the pdf which is which i'll show you give you the link in the below so it's about testing but what i want to tell you that timing is critical in this uh, in disease treatment in the early stages antiviral therapy in the early pulmonary stages where oxygen saturation is dipping anti-inflammatory therapy steroids and when it starts to dip fast you can escalate the anti-inflammatory therapy the important thing is if you give anti-inflammatory therapy at this stage means too early too early when the virus application is still going on the patient then 
chances are that the patient will shoot while replication will get unchecked and it will rapidly progress into the late or pulmonary phase and can deteriorate very fast so that's what i want to tell you uh, revise you that the antiretroviral antiviral therapy and anti inflammatory therapy these are very very crucial in treating such diseases in early stages stick to the antiviral therapy or symptomatic therapy don't add steroid until unless patient is a little bit hypoxic or the, a certain days has passed and the crp are rising and patient is showing signs of pulmonary pulmonary diseases uh, steroid should not be added that's what all the data and the article said it's not my opinion but what is the evidence and what is the literature is showing so and steroid and uh, escalation of anti inflammatory therapy definitely should be considered when the disease is progressing to the lungs and that's why uh, that uh, uk study showed the benefit of dexamethasone as a mortality benefit so that's what all about the key concept in the timing of antiviral therapy and anti inflammatory therapy and escalation of anti inflammatory therapy very very important the anti uh, uh, the incubation and symptomatic period is somewhere around 7 to 9 days from the symptom onset and post that the inflammatory response come so always inquire ki when your first symptom started this will give you an idea how many days have elapsed so the link to this pdf or website is in the description you can go through this pdf this is wonderful pdf also much detail are given in it do read more about this concept and best wishes stay safe i hope uh, this covid thing doesn't flare ups and even if it will we are, we are uh, strong enough to fight this disease thank you